Hello guys and welcome to Till Vacuum Do Us Part. Today we're just jumping straight into today's video. We had just gotten home from Sam's and I thought I would just do a real fast haul. I'm not going to talk about it, but I'm just showing you everything we picked up. But today's video is all about organizing. So I had all of this to put away. I had some other areas I needed to work on. And I know you guys love watching organizational videos. I know they're so helpful. They're so motivating. So if you're new here, welcome. Go ahead and hit that red subscribe button if you love seeing home videos. I do cleaning, decluttering, organizing, home projects, all sorts of fun stuff. I even love to do decorating videos. I have a lot of those coming up. Um, so definitely be on the lookout, um, but let's go ahead and get started. I know I'll get a few questions about these pods, so let me just address it here. So this is the Sam's version of like the Tide laundry pods. Um, this was the first time that I was using them, but I filmed this a few days ago and have done multiple loads since then. I really like them. They're really affordable. I try to never buy name brand unless I just have to. So anytime Sam's has a version of it or Walmart or Target, wherever you're shopping, I love to buy the store brand and these work perfect and will save you a ton of money just in case you have a Sam's club near you. I love going to Sam's, but we don't go often because anytime we go, you can spend like a hundred or two hundred dollars like in a snap. So we try to just go when we need to restock. And I always love to do it before like families coming in town or friends. I like to do this before summer. I feel like you just kind of snack more or kids do when they're swimming. I just feel like you tend to get a little more hungry. Plus we needed like Gatorades um, with Chase mowing. It just helps keep them cool here in Oklahoma. So I love going, but we always spend a lot. I think we spent like $210 on everything you saw here. And it's always so much work to put it away because everything's in bulk. But as you can see here, our third car garage is finally cleaned out. All of that got put away in the shed if you missed that video. But we do keep a spare refrigerator out in our garage just for drinks. So I love when guests come over or friends or neighbors or whatever, they know they can just go out to the garage and pick whatever they want to drink. So you'll have to let me know down below in the comments section, like what's your favorite drink? Like I don't drink coffee or anything like that. We don't do like alcoholic drinks. So like soda or pop is definitely like my guilty pleasure. I love sweet tea as well. Um, Chase and Savannah like Gatorades, um, but definitely let me know, like what do you like to drink?
Now I'm gonna do a little work on my pantry. I feel like I just haven't quite figured out this space. I really need to find somebody like that's a local that does like organizing for a living. Um, I feel like I'm a really good organizer. Like when it comes to closets or drawers, they don't like intimidate me. I can do them pretty well. But when it comes to my pantry here in this house and then our refrigerator, I just cannot figure it out. I don't know if you're local and you know of somebody, definitely hit me up and let me know their name. Um, but it's getting better. I think it's one of those, like the longer you live in the house, you kind of start to figure it out a little more. So maybe as time goes, I'll just understand it and figure out the best pieces and everything that works in there. Just like all lose control, play songs on the radio too loud. This could be magical. Okay, so I know it freaks some of you guys out that I take the wrapping off my paper towels. Um, I only do this when I'm putting it inside my pantry. Like they really don't get very dusty in there. I don't feel like they get dirty. Now, if I have overflow and I'm leaving it out in my garage on a shelf, I'll definitely leave the plastic wrapper on. But if they're just gonna be sitting in my pantry, I just feel like it looks like a nice piece of decor. I don't know, it's just kind of like decorating your pantry. It's kind of like the same with clear bins. I feel like it just presents it a little bit better. So I like to unwrap them. You guys know I do not like color. And so there would be a ton of orange if I left that wrapper on. So I like to just take it off and have them clean and white. I like to buy plain paper towels. I don't want designs. I don't want flowers. I don't want color. I just want them plain white. The reason I really like Sam's is because you can buy things in bulk. So things like paper towels and toilet paper and trash bags, I feel like it's really nice just to buy up so you're not having to buy those weekly. That's what I used to have to do and it really costs so much more money versus buying it in bulk. I mean, I'm not kidding. When I go to Sam's and buy trash bags, I think it lasts me the entire year. <laughs> like you get so many, so you have to buy it once and then you don't have to think about it again for a really long time. So if you've never looked into something like that, you can definitely check it out. I know it's not for everybody, but it really has helped us. This really isn't like a cleaning video, but anytime I have like groceries up on my counter, I like to take my Jaws disinfectant and spray it on my countertops and I let it sit there. So I'm gonna spray it and then go work on something else and then I'll come back because it needs to set about 10 minutes for it to work. Nobody loves me better. Nobody loves me better. Okay, so I had never used this product before. I've seen a few people over on Instagram use it. And when I went into Sam's Club, it was originally like 12 something, but I noticed it was marked down to like 561 or something for all three bottles. So I'm like, okay, for $5, I have to try this out and see what I think about it. I love the smell of laundry. Like if I can get a candle that's like the fresh clean scent, that's always what I gravitate towards. Um, just cause like floral scents can give me a headache. And when I was spraying down all my furniture with this, it was like fresh laundry. So this is so nice to do. It's also like antibacterial, but what a good thing to do if you're about to have people over and you have pets or kids or anything, you can just spray it on your furniture and it makes it smell so clean. Nobody loves me better. Nobody loves me better. Update on the process. So I have all this that Chase needs to take out. We just throw it in the garage and we recycle it once we get a full load. Um, all the countertops are disinfected. I've got some extra Kleenexes I need to put away. Um, this was stuff in the pantry that just wasn't fitting now, so I've got to find it a new spot. But here is how the pantry is looking. I do need to get more matching baskets. I don't know. Doing a pantry is kind of hard for me. 
Um, so I've got a lot of clear bins. Like a lot of the shelves are working until you get down to like the snacks. So I need to get some like more clear, more matching bins, and then maybe some big baskets down here for extra things like these chips. Um, so next time I'm out, I'll be looking for those. Have this feeling, haven't felt for so long. Took a hold of me and won't let go. I've been sleeping, caught me off my guard. Cause you're in my space and now I'm so Hold me towards you and I can't fight it. My head's underwater, I try to disguise it. Want you to hold me, though we haven't spoken. I need a something to get me to open you. Are only a shot. I'm about to start doing some serious organizing, um, but first I need to start a load of laundry. But I'm gonna be working on like our front hall closet, kind of like our coat closet. Um, Savannah also has a hallway closet with like school supplies and art supplies. I really need to get in there. Um, and then I'm gonna work on the pantry a little bit more and then my bedroom closet back there, um, the master closet. So definitely don't click off yet. I just needed to get a load of laundry started and I wanted to try out those new um, dishwashing pods that I bought. I would switched over to pods about a month ago and I really do like it. It's like less messy. You're not like measuring stuff. You don't have like lids that are always dirty. And I don't feel like they cost that much more if you just buy like the off brand. Um, so definitely check those out and see what you think. Won't let you touch me. Won't let you go to my head. Cause I know I'm dealing with the devil. But I'm standing with my heart in your head. And I'm too deep into in this gamble. Hold me towards you and I can't fight it. My head's underwater. I try to disguise it. So I do not like when things are on the ground. If I can get organized where all of this stuff isn't like laying here on the ground. Now I get we don't need like a coat closet for our guests. I feel like we don't get that many visitors and it's, you know, getting close to summertime so it's warm. So I don't mind that we put some other items in here. Basically it's Chase's cornhole bags. Um, then you can just grab them and go. And then those two other backpacks you saw are actually our emergency bags. So that's what we grab in case of an emergency, but here in Oklahoma, that means tornado. So if we know there's a tornado watch, we definitely grab those and keep them in the bathroom where we're gonna be. So heaven forbid something happens, we have everything we need in those bags. So Chase and I have one packed that his grandma made for us. And then Savannah has one packed and we just go through that every year with her just to make sure she has extra supplies and anything she needs. So that's what's in those bags that you saw. Okay, so those are our safety bags. Basically for a tornado, we have everything we need in those. Savannah has one, we have one. So we just like to keep those nice and close. Right here is all of like our winter like stocking caps and gloves. I put the extra backpack here and this one's empty for something later on. We do keep a few jackets right here, especially like if a guest needs to borrow one, they can get to it. I have extra hangers if they wanna hang something. And then the main thing was clearing out this bottom of this closet floor. I do have one bag right here, it's super heavy. It's all Chase's like cornhole bags, but as long as it's like tucked to the side like that, you honestly don't see it when you open up the door. So I think that looks so much better. And actually this worked out really nice because I'm gonna use these bins. Um, they were just empty in this closet anyways. I'm gonna go use them in my pantry so I can put some of those chips and different things away. So I'm gonna carry those down the hall. I don't wanna save ya, don't wanna be strangers. Let me feel like you know what to do. Leave your limitations, live and go against them Just like go and start up something new Cause I know, I know, I know what you plan I own eight of these like storage container bins. I love these. I got these off Amazon, so I'll have them linked down below in my description box for you. But they are so sturdy and such a great size. They hold so much and they never get like wimpy or, um, you know, like kind of collapse in. I feel like anytime I pick them up from like the Dollar Tree or I get super, super cheap ones, they just like cave in and collapse. These will never do that. So if you're looking for a really good neutral, and I think they had them in other colors too, 
too. I just chose this one. But if you're looking for a really good bin, definitely check out that link down below because I'm super happy with these. Now we're gonna move on to Savannah's like craft closet. It also houses like her games and her homeschool. Basically when we moved in, I just threw everything in here and it was set up a lot like our last house, but more narrow, but I just made everything fit. But I don't think it was functioning well just because a lot of the stuff she wanted was up top. So I just needed to pull everything out of this space so we could start over. Um, it wasn't horrible. Obviously those bottom bins are a little crazy, but I know if you just open the closet, it wasn't terrible. But when you're organizing, you want it to function too. You don't want it just to look pretty or pleasing to the eye. You want it to function best for your family. So sometimes just pulling everything out and starting over is what's best. So here is what that closet looks like empty. So I would assume like this is really like a linen closet. We don't have to use it for any of like the her bathroom stuff because she actually has another closet in here which is super nice. So one day this will just be a spare closet but for now with us homeschooling and her just being younger we like just to give it to her with all of her supplies. But this is why I've been avoiding organizing it. When we moved in, I just kind of threw everything in there the way it was at the last house. But the last house, it was a lot bigger. So I definitely need to go in and just like declutter a lot of this. Since this is Savannah's closet and I'm wanting it to function best for her, it's definitely easier to have her there with me. So I need to know which paint she's still using, what markers she's ready to get rid of, where she wants the items on the shelf, like because there's some she can't reach, there's some that's really low, like what does she want eye level, what is she gravitating towards the most, just little things like that matter. And you probably think you know what's best for your, your child, but sometimes I feel like the things I would do, Savannah's like, oh no, I like this better here, and I want it set up best for her. Now if it's my closet, I'm going to set it up for me, so definitely just keep in mind who the space is for and let them help you work through it so it functions best. Also, a good little tip when you're organizing children's areas, clear bins are so nice. So those are actually like makeup drawers or jewelry um, storage containers, but I like to keep her art supplies in it. Then she doesn't have to like open it up to know what's in it because I feel like kids are very visual. If they don't see it, it's not there. They're not going to play with it. So try to keep things in clear containers so that they see it and they know it's there to be played with. Things 
could only get better I need it more than ever They don't, don't, don't here is how the closet turned out. So for right now, I put all her homeschool items at the very top because we're done with school, so she doesn't need to reach them. Then I was able to lower all her games that she can actually pull down now that she has more time. Um, some of the shelves look the same, they're just more organized. Others have been rearranged to different shelves. All I know is it looks so much better and it's gonna function so much better now. Okay, now the last space we're gonna work on is back here in my closet. Um, I've been putting this space off as well, but I wanna organize all of this. So sometimes I do it all by color, sometimes I do it by like style and then color. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do, but I need to do something. And then my shoes look fine, but I need to go in and clean these out. It's getting super dusty and just adjust my shoes. So I'm gonna start with like organizing this and then we'll move our way down. Since it's getting warm here in Oklahoma or it's supposed to be getting warm here, I decided to pull out like all my sweaters and I'm gonna use my top rack. It's called a seasonal rack. You're gonna see me pull it down here in a little bit. I'm gonna throw all my sweaters up there for now and then a lot of my seasonal shirts. So anything with color on it, I try to leave it up there and it's mainly for like the 4th of July and Valentine's Day and stuff like that. But I'm gonna get all those long, like long sleeves pulled out that are like sweaters and then I'm gonna start organizing by color and just kind of see if that's working best. Here is a tip when you're organizing your closet, have matching hangers. I know it's a little bit of an investment because you have to like start over fresh, but I promise you it's gonna make your space look so much cleaner. I highly suggest the velvet hangers. I'll have mine linked down below. They're from Amazon. They're not that much. They last a really long time. They save you so much space. So if you are limited on space, your clothes can hang so much closer because they're really thin. Plus the actual hook on it spins. So sometimes if you rearrange your closet, your shirt's like facing backwards now. You don't have to like take the top off and re-put it on. You just spin the little hook. So I swear by those. They come in all different colors, but I'll leave that link down below for you. This space looks a thousand times better. I did not know what to do with it, but it's typically once you get started, you figure it out. So a lot of this are like my wild cards. So if they have color on them or pattern, it's normally for a holiday. And then I put up just a lot of my sweatshirts and things that are just gonna be too warm. And then I did start over here with like navy cause I don't wear it much. And then went into whites, grays, cream, darker grays and then blacks. And it looks so, so, so much better. I feel like I have all new clothes now. I don't know, just changing up your clothes sometimes helps. Um, I had already worked on this a few days ago so I didn't touch any of my pants. And then I dusted where all my shoes were. So I feel so good getting this accomplished. Now we are heading out to my garage because I was needing some good organization out here. So if you're needing tips or tricks out in your garage or maybe it's a shed, any type of storage building, um, I'm going to have some tricks for you. I did grab these shelves from Home Depot and the tubs as well. I feel like if you're trying to get a Pinterest worthy garage, it can be pricey if you do custom built-ins, but these get you almost that professional look, but at a much better price. This shelf is actually super easy to put together. Chase was shocked how fast he was able to do it. Basically, you put on the feet, 
and then a shelf, and then you put on like the little like arms or legs, and then you add another shelf and just so on. The only struggle I see like a girl having is it does get a little tall, so you may have to grab like a chair or something. But other than that, it is super easy. It's just setting pieces in place and then setting the shelf on top of it. So if you need to do this, this is definitely an easy one to grab. It was affordable if you ask me $59 for a shelf, they can get super expensive, like a couple hundred per shelf. So I felt like this was just a great option and it holds a ton. This is a large shelf, so just in case you're needing a smaller one, they did have a smaller option. Plus, they had a ton of shelves that were black and yellow, and I bought a lot of their tubs, which you're gonna see coming up. So if you want your whole system to match, you could buy those as well. I think they were right around the same prices, maybe even the same price, but they weren't as like deep, which you don't always need that depth. Sometimes you need them to be more narrow if you're gonna be parking a lot of cars in the garage. So just keep that in mind. I was super impressed with um, the Home Depot. I know you can probably grab them at Lowe's too. We had just ran to the Home Depot because it was close to church when we were running by there. Um, but I just wanted to mention if you do want the whole like complete set so it looks very like Pinterest worthy, they do make the matching shelves to go with the tubs. And here is what it looks like when it's finished. As you can see, it's really big. It holds a lot of stuff. It's got good depth on it. But like I mentioned before, if you need a more narrow one, they have that option as well. But we did buy a few of these. So I'm gonna speed this up in a little time lapse so you guys can watch Chase put these together. Anytime he's putting something together, I'm around him cleaning up. So it just goes a lot faster. So it's not like once he's finished putting it up, I'm trying to clean. I just like to kind of tag team it and the project always goes so much faster. We were just broken shadows singing along to nothing matters Stray around like nighttime moments We were in too deep And you wore no sweaters Think you will be young forever Driving in your mom's old hatchback And we were in I have always wanted matching shelves for our garage. I feel like it's kind of like matching hangers in your closet. It just makes everything look nice and neat, but I know the garage isn't where our budget goes. Or if you guys are like me, you know, we were trying to pay for other things. So if you don't have it in the budget to grab these, this might be good to add to your like birthday list or Christmas list. Um, it's something you want and need and people don't mind buying and then you don't have to put it into your budget. Another thing to remember, just another little tip, you don't have to go all in and buy them at one time. You know, maybe save up the $60 and go buy one and get it organized. And then when you save up another 60, I don't want you guys to think, cause you guys see us put these videos together that we do this like whole makeover in one day. It doesn't always have to be that way. Just kind of buy pieces as you go, check garage sales. Almost every other piece of storage that you see in this garage was from a garage sale. So the two in the back, that silver one that's shorter was a dollar from a garage sale. The black shelf was a dollar from a garage sale. So you can find really good deals. You just have to go out and hunt for them. So never let your budget be an excuse. Sometimes you just have to get super creative and you can still make it work. Trying to keep up with the time. 
while Chase is working on putting that lash shelf together, you can see me in the background. I'm always trying to tag team it and doing the things I can do. I can't do a lot of stuff. Like I tried to move the black shelf for myself. That wasn't gonna happen, but I can start moving the other things out. Um, and here they are complete. Three shelves shouldn't make me so happy, but for some reason, just becoming an adult and getting organized just like makes me happy and calms my soul. So I was so excited to be able to get these shelves. Now we're gonna get that black one moved together so we don't break anything and then we'll be moving on. But now I'm gonna go ahead and take these shelves and start putting them into place. It takes me a little bit to figure out. I couldn't decide if I wanted them like right next to each other or if I wanted them spaced out. Honestly, I thought all of these would fit the whole wall, but the wall was longer than I realized. So it just takes me a little while to figure it all out. I found you today. It feels like it's been forever laughing all day. We spin around, we spin around, your hand reaches mine. Feels like I can do anything, just give me a mountain to climb. You sing la 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 My God, I think I might be in love. Get rid of all your sorrows. So here's what it looks like when they're like pushed close together. And then here's another clip with it spaced out just so you can kind of see the difference if you're gonna be doing this. I really wanted them close together, but Chase was like, let's go ahead and center it on the wall if that's what we're gonna do. So we're shifting them down. This is the best time to rearrange these shelves because once you get them full, it's gonna be a lot harder. They're gonna be a lot heavier, just like this one. You can tell we're dragging it. These shelves don't look sturdy on camera, like they seem so wobbly, but just so you know in person, like they hold a lot of weight and I don't feel like they wiggle like that at all. So definitely just keep that in mind. Obviously they're 59, so they're not like wood shelves, but I feel like they do really, really well. And that one on the far right, we've had it like multiple years, probably four or five years and it's done really, really, really well. So just keep that in mind, but definitely figure out the spacing before you start organizing and put everything on them. Gonna keep it low now. If you wanna go, let's go. Let's wrap it up and hit the road. I just got an awesome vibe. Striking the wind of hopes now. Liberty's on my mind. We've taken off with left the ground. You, you gotta understand that we get one chance, one chance. So before I can start organizing and putting everything back into its home or its new home, I'm gonna get my storage bins organized and laid out. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and put all the lids on them. Then I'm gonna start placing them on the shelf. The one thing I don't wanna do is get all my bins organized and then not have a place for them on the shelf or not know where to put them. Plus they're heavy moving around while they're empty. That's when you kind of need to do the placement. So if you were gonna move that one storage bin 20 times like I will to figure out the perfect setup, they're empty. Once they're full, it's gonna be a lot harder. So go ahead and play with the arrangement like this. Then you know if you have too many, maybe not enough. So definitely just use this as a trial run before you put everything in them and make them super heavy. Gotta understand that we get one chance, one chance. Also keep in mind, the bigger the tub, the more that's gonna fit in it, so the heavier it's gonna be. Keep that weight at the bottom of your shelf so they don't get top heavy, they won't lean forward and fall over on you, they're easier to drag out. Like if those get super heavy, I can still open up the lid or pull it out onto the ground and then keep your lighter items up top. Also, just in case you're wondering about pricing, now this is Oklahoma pricing, so it'll be different where you are. These size tubs were like $6.50 or something around that. And then those bottom tubs were $13, but they even had a size up that were even bigger than those tubs right there, and they were $13 as well. So I feel like they were priced really, really well. They're super sturdy. 
I went with solid color ones because I'm gonna label these here in a little bit and I didn't wanna see all the junk. So you can see my paint bins right there, they're see-through. So if you don't wanna label, that's a good way to go so you can see everything inside of them, your husband, your kids, whoever's gonna be out there can see. But I really like concealing the mess, so I went with the black and as you can see, it's just super clean and crisp. And then I'm gonna label them so everybody can find what they need. I'm a mess Don't know how I got here But I'm blessed Didn't know it Take me past my destiny You're behind me With the rest Cause I'm a mess No more you Now all the things that I'm having Chase put up high are the things I don't grab as often. If it's something I'm gonna use daily or weekly, I'm definitely not gonna put it up that high because I'm never gonna be able to get to it or I'm gonna have to grab a ladder or a step stool. So definitely just be aware when you're placing items, like how often do you use it? Like all my painting supplies, I've gotta be able to get that all the time because I'm always grabbing something. But like my muddy shoes up there, I'm not doing that all too often. So just be aware of your spacing and how often you use it so you're making it super convenient to get to. Next tip is when you're organizing these bins, keep like items together. Don't just do a free for all where you're just like cramming things in. You're never gonna know where to find anything. The system's never gonna work and then you're not gonna use it. So all in that last bin, I was putting anything I spray on. So sunscreen and bug spray. Now I'm starting like a toy bin. So it can be any of Savannah's toys, whether that's chalk, balls, frisbee, but definitely keep like items together. I also love keeping storage bins on hand. So yes, I'm putting bins in a bin. But then when I go to organize a closet or something, it's accessed easily. I can walk right out here or Savannah can. This will be labeled. She knows exactly where to go. And then she can pick out or I can pick out anything we need. So I like having this stuff where I can just get to it very easily. How can I believe Now I'm starting a cleaning tool bin. So anything that will fit in here that's cleaning tools, then I have it all in one area. It's not spaced out in my laundry room and in the garage and underneath the sink. Anything that's just extra cleaning attachments can go right to this bin. So once we need it, we can find it. Are you like catching on here? It's so that you're not spending all this time looking for items. I, there's no telling how many hours we spend in our lifetime searching for things we can't find. Just taking a few hours and getting spaces organized will cut that back for the rest of your life. Just make sure you're putting things that make sense in your head, not so much my head, not your neighbor's head, your head, so when you go to find it, you know right where to go. I always get asked in my videos if we have a basement. So here in Oklahoma, it is not common to have a basement. Some people get super lucky and have one, but it's not common like at all. So we have attics and we have our garages. So we do have an attic and we keep like Christmas and holiday stuff up there, but I'm not gonna lie. I don't like going up there. It's hot, there's wasps. So I like that when I need something, I can just walk right out here and grab it. If you're older and can't get up a ladder or you have an injury, this would work for you as well if you're kind of in our boat where you don't have a basement or maybe you do but it's not accessible or if you don't want to get up in your attic. I feel like this is just super helpful because everything's just right there at a reach away. If 
I can't even tell you how much sweating I did in this video. It was so hot and I had no idea where we were gonna be starting this project, but sometimes it just falls into place like that. And of course it happened to be in the evening time and that's right when the sun's setting. So it was hitting right into the garage, but I had to leave it open for lighting. So this definitely should have been a morning project. If we work on it again, <laughs> I will definitely plan it better, but it was so nice just to get it done. Now here's another little corner we haven't even touched yet. Chase just like throws everything right here and this door. So I'm gonna use some of the other um, like shelving we had on the other side to put over here. Basically anything we're not using, we're gonna go put into our shed because we need shelving out there. But I didn't wanna buy it for the shed because nobody sees it. So we bought it for in here and then we'll take these items and put it out there. That will be a future video, but I'm not sure when because that shed is super hot. So it may be like a fall project. It's such a funny way to tell me what you search in life But well, I'm a mad woman, sorry I don't compromise Mad woman, mad woman Keep calling me a mad woman Boy, you tell me your business if I'm a mad woman So I decided to try this black shelf over here in this corner um, and you're going to see I make it fit and I get it all set up but my goal for this wall was to make sure I had all matching shelves. So um, spoiler alert, it doesn't stay, shocker, but you guys can go ahead and see me organize it and then if you don't click off yet you can see what we do to fix it. These little hooks right here will be your best friend when you're organizing a garage. They can hold so many things. For different items, you might need multiple things, but for like this ladder, one's good enough and they just screw right into the wall. So definitely go to a hardware store and pick some of those up. All of my organizers as well are gonna be in my Amazon store. So like my broom holder, uh, my ironing board holder, I'm gonna link all that for you guys. But as you can see, it is definitely coming along. But now I'm gonna work on all these cardboard boxes. Basically, we just need to throw them in Chase's truck so next time we're out, we can take them, take them to the recycling center so that's what I'm gonna work on right now Now, as far as it goes with these floaties, there's not much I can do with them. It is a seasonal issue, so once the pool goes down, we'll deflate these and keep them in the shed. Now, we could store these in the shed, but it's super hot. It's harder to get into. This back door leads right to our pool, so it's just easier to keep them in here. If you have some fancy solution I don't know about, totally comment down below, send me a link or whatever, but the only thing I could come up with is just stacking them so they look nice and pretty and organized. Yeah. 
We do have that black tubing in the corner. We actually have to return that. We were gonna be working on our gutters, but our build builder decided to come and help or send somebody out to help. But I did wanna show you some of our other organization. We have this fishing pole holder. Um, we have our bike. So Chase doesn't ride his bike as much, so we hang it up. We keep Savannah's down low. Once again, there's some more of those hooks for different things in the garage. I just kind of wanted to show you some of the other systems we have in place that are working, just in case you missed those in the last video. But anything you can get off the floor and onto the wall, do it. It's gonna free up so much space and your walls are just like wasted space. So definitely hang as many items as you possibly can and it's gonna make the space feel so much larger. Now I'm gonna show you inside these drawers. They do need a little bit of tweaking, but it was not gonna happen today because I was a pile of sweat. But I wanted you to see like I have a light bulb drawer and an extension cord drawer, a painting sheet drawer. All those keep me super organized. Now this is the next morning. I had created labels that night, but I was so gross. I took a shower and went to bed. So I'm ready for church. So I seem a little bit dressier today, but now I'm gonna go ahead and start applying those labels. Over and over, you cry yourself to sleep. Now, this is where you can get a little bit creative. I was trying to do one word that was super short, so I was trying to come up with different ways of saying that for each item. Now, all the bottoms were easy because they're like my garage sale items, so I put sell. I have a few bins that say donate. When it came to like the bug spray and the sunscreen, I just did sprays, so I was trying to keep it very simple. So like if Chase is out there or Savannah, they're not confused, but yet like the words really big and bold across. Now, if you don't have a machine to do this, you could just do this with like a piece of tape, but I feel like if you're gonna go this far and try to make your garage pretty, it's so nice just to have pretty labels and they stick on so easy. And then if a bucket were to change out, all I have to do is peel this off and create a new one. And then you can kind of make it more your style or however you want to do it. I could have done this in different colors, but you know me, I stick to black and white. But definitely just label the best you can, but very simple so everybody else knows what you're talking about that's in the family that's going to be using the system as well. So here is how it's looking. I honestly thought it was going to stay this way. I thought, you know, we're done, we're good. But the more I was looking at like Chase's workstation right here, it was like stressing me out. <laughs> I was like, we definitely need to work on that. But we had to leave to go to church. And when we were at church, I decided I wanted to go ahead and swing by and pick up one more shelf. I just thought it's one more and then it'll complete the space. Otherwise it just seems so unfinished to me. So this is where that comes in, like you should rearrange your shelves before they're full. Now they're full and I'm having to shift them all down. So you can definitely do it. It just takes a little bit of work and a little bit of elbow grease, but it was definitely worth the results. I've been feeling so small. Watch the clock ticking off the wall. But tonight I'm letting it go. Spend my coin for sure. I'm gonna be myself. So when I picked up the shelf, it is kind of a domino effect because I needed one more big top and one more of the two smaller tubs. I definitely wanted to keep that pattern going. I'm a very visual person if you haven't noticed and I'm very symmetrical. So I wanted to just keep that same design going all the way down. But now we have more room for some of Chase's stuff and more overflow. I felt like we were kind of at full capacity before. So now we have room for extra stuff just in case. 
Um, so underneath Chase's workbench, it was driving me insane. So a lot of this stuff went into the extra bins over on the shelf. And then I end up bringing one big tub over here and we end up leaving underneath his workbench. So I had to go back the next day and get one more tub. I feel like I've been living at Home Depot lately, but our garage is on point. It feels so much better and I can't wait to show you the end result here in a few minutes. Here is how everything turned out. It just makes my heart so happy to see the garage organized like this. But next we're gonna be heading on to the Modern Jewel. It was a smaller house that we did a full reno on um, and used it as an Airbnb for a while. So if you're needing organizational tips for like a smaller kitchen and house, this video is gonna be great for you. So this is what the kitchen looked like when I actually went in to start organizing it. We bought everything brand new since this is an Airbnb and I wanted them to have everything they needed to cook or host or serve or whatever they're going to use the space for. But I had been running over every day and putting stuff in the dishwasher and as it got clean I just put it out on the counter and I would run another load. Um, so all of this is clean and sanitized and all of that before I started putting it away. Yeah, yeah, when things go wrong, it's easy to sing a sad song, seems like nothing comes for free. I'm kind of going through and just showing you some of the basics. I like to have a rug in the kitchen. We have some bamboo shades in there. We added floating shelves. Just anything to warm up a space since we went with white cabinets and white walls. It's really smart just to add some warmth in there as well. And then we also went with a granite countertop that had a lot of black and gray in it. Um, so in my home, we have like more of a white countertop, but we have gray walls. So I felt like since we were going all white in there, I needed a little bit color um, in the granite and I'm so glad I went with that option because it turned out really well and now you're gonna see Chase putting on some hardware so throughout the whole house we're adding black and gold but when it came to the kitchen cabinets I really like gold sometimes I feel like black and white can be a little harsh not always but in here I definitely just went with the gold look Now I'm gonna go ahead and start organizing. When it looks like this, when you have like a whole kitchen to organize or maybe things aren't already in its place and you're just not in a move and everything's in boxes, the best thing you can do is start with the pieces where you know exactly where they're gonna go. So silverware is pretty easy. Typically it's like the closest drawer to the table cause you're gonna like grab your plate of food and then grab your silverware and go sit down. So that's where I was starting. I was starting anywhere that I knew without a doubt, like this is exactly where I want it. And then you can work on those harder pieces later when you can see what areas and cabinets and drawers are left. Hey, we can make it oh. So your kitchen doesn't have to make sense to everybody, it just has to make sense to you. So keep that in mind. Don't live by the set of rules, like just because I say the silverware has to be in the drawer closest to the table. If that doesn't work for your family or for your kitchen, don't do it. Figure out how you use your space, what's gonna work best for you and your kids, and that's the best way to set up your own space. So as far as this kitchen, um, I have to look at it as it's an Airbnb and I'm assuming most people aren't gonna be storing leftover food. They may not even cook often and if they do, they probably won't have leftovers or they probably won't keep them. So I'm putting that stuff more towards the bottom and keeping things that they'll use more higher up, like on a higher level. I also like to put kids plates and supplies down low. For me, it helped because Savannah could always grab what she needed and bring it to me. It just encourages them to help out in the kitchen but if your kids are just gonna get in there and destroy it and get it dirty I totally get do what works best for you but I'm just trying to set this up knowing a lot of people are gonna be coming in and I'm trying to see what would work the best for like the majority of people I also 
also felt like that maybe a ton of people won't cook in here, but they might want to bake with their kids on vacation or just to make a memory. So I tried to make sure we have everything in this kitchen that you could possibly need. So I'm just trying to find the best spots to put them away just so they're easy to find. They're easy to put back. Um, you're not lost. If you do stay until the end of today's video, I show some pictures at the very end. I did go ahead and decide to like label all the cabinets, but I didn't film it. But if you do want to see the pictures of how it turned out, definitely just stay till the end of today's video. Also for me in a kitchen, a must have drawer is a junk drawer. So not that I want it to look super junky. I like things organized. So I always grab this pack from Target and it has quite a few in it that you can mix and match. But I definitely wanted the junk drawer in here because I know in my home that's where it is. You'll have to let me know where you keep your junk drawer in your house. I'm gonna tell you that I love you 100 times a day You'll get tired of my voice That's how much I'm gonna tell you that I miss you I'll miss you if you go try to keep like an appliance cabinet. I feel like anytime you can group like items together, it's really going to cut back on you searching for it. Or if your husband or kids put things away out of the dishwasher, it helps them to narrow down on where to put it back. Same goes for our Airbnb. I'm just trying to keep all the like items together. So it makes it super easy to find the things someone's looking for. you're wondering where I got anything that's in today's video, definitely click down below and check out the description box. A lot of things were Amazon, Ikea, Target, Walmart. I think those were like the main places, but we will try to link as much as we can down below in the description box. really love having e-cloths in my kitchen. You guys know I love these. I talk about them all the time. It is not sponsored. Um, I just love these cloths. So I went ahead and got a set um, to leave in the kitchen. So if you come visit and you want to check them out, or if you want to get a set of your own, um, I'll leave the link and my coupon code down below in my description box. I always have one with them, but I love e-cloth rags because they look brand new the day you get them until five years down the line. I swear mine still look brand new. You only use water to clean if you want to. I also use it with my Jaws products as well. I kind of mix and match, but I just feel like they're the best rags I've ever owned and they just hold up so well over time. I love when it gets to the point where you start decorating like the countertops and maybe the open shelves. I feel like the kitchen really starts to like warm up and come together. I am not big about keeping appliances out on countertops. I feel like it looks messy. They get dusty. It's just another thing to clean or have to move while you're cleaning. But I know when it comes to coffee, it has to go out on the countertop. I don't drink coffee myself, but Chase does. And you just need easy access. So when we were designing this kitchen, I wanted to have just like a little coffee bar over here. Um, so that's what we're gonna turn this little space into. And I love, love, love how it turned out. I 
never really thought I'd like open shelving, but in this kitchen, there wasn't really room for a cabinet or I felt like it would look a little awkward or heavy. So we went ahead and did these floating shelves. Now that I see them, I love them. And I'm a very clean and organized person, so I'm not sure why I didn't think I'd like them, but there's just something so neat to decorate with the pieces you're gonna be using. I would love to put these in a house one day. And I also wanted to show you up close. We had like little custom mugs made with the logo of our Airbnb. So hopefully you get to come and try those out one day. Another really cool tip when you're trying to warm up like a bright white kitchen is to add some wood elements in or black or whatever color honestly that you like. But I've, I've noticed in my current home adding wood does so much. And like I said in this house, the walls were white, the cabinets were white, we went with a white backsplash. So just leaning up all these cutting boards really added warmth, it added dimension. Plus, if you need to cut something, it's very visual. You just grab one and use it. So when you can like do multi-purpose, like with decorating and function, it works out so well. When you're decorating a space, especially when you're doing a reno, you really have to keep in mind of how you're gonna be decorating the space. If I wanted to use all these wood elements and black elements and I went with a really dark kitchen, then the whole kitchen would be dark. Now, if that's the look you're going for, great. But if you're wanting to kind of balance it out, I went with a really white kitchen. So at first it was like, okay, maybe this is a little too much white. But then as you start adding in those other elements and pieces, it brings it all together. Okay, so this is on another day and I decided to move these clear canisters um, over here on the shelving. I felt like when you first walked into the kitchen, it was just a little too much with the cutting boards and I'm gonna fill those up later. I don't know if I show it on camera or not, but you'll see it in the picture at the end. But I felt like they just worked better up here. If you need to use them, they're up there. I feel like they're probably more for looks. So you'll probably wanna buy your own stuff, but there will be like sugar and brown sugar and flour up there. Find your way in time to find someone is a blessing. The love you find you won't be able to deny. Just hey. Now we're gonna do a little mini project um, in this kitchen. Um, I'll link this down below in my description box, but we bought this off Etsy, but basically it's a very large map of the United States and it is like a cork board. And so I thought this would be a fun way to fill up this really white plain wall here in the kitchen. And then we could see where all of our visitors are coming from to come stay at the Modern Jewel. So there's instructions on the wall of what to do if you come, but Chase was putting it together so we could kind of like measure it out on the floor and know where we need to start putting the pieces up on the wall. You do have to be a little careful when you do something like this because you want it centered and kind of once you put it on there, you don't want to rip it back off. So just be super careful if you ever get something like this just to make sure you're putting it in the right spot. It 
did come with instructions on which one to put up first and where to put the tape, but it was a little tricky. But basically, once you get that first one set, all the rest just kind of line up with it. So if you're wanting to do something like this, the hardest part is just putting that first one up. And then after that, it's pretty easy to do. From all this, I know there's a bright day for you. Tell me, what are you saying? What game are we playing? I want us to be for real now, real now. Oh, 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 I'm so I wait, 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 you take your life. I will wait, wait, wait. You're gonna have to bear with me on some of these clips. I I actually got a new camera and like one of the settings got way off and I didn't even know it because it was a new camera so it's a little grainy in a few of these clips but I promise I'll have that figured out very soon. I feel like when you're doing like a kitchen makeover, if you're just trying to like decorate it, there's not much you can do. You can get like a cute hand soap, a cute little sponge holder, some plants to throw out in there. But basically when you're working on a kitchen, you're just trying to get it organized and make it function really well for whoever's using it. Okay, now I'm gonna start showing you some before and after clips. I feel like these are always the best part of any video or any TV show that I watch. I love seeing how it started and then how it turned out. So sit back and relax and watch these and definitely don't click off yet because the last photos are all gonna be inside the cabinets and how I have them organized and how I have them labeled. In my Lots of different ways you could go about labeling your cabinets, but for me, I just use my Cricut Joy Machine. It's the easiest thing for me to do. I just create it like on my phone from an app and then print off. Um, and I just think it's gonna help people that are staying there and then the cleaners that are helping us out or if I'm there and I don't remember where something goes because I haven't been there in a little bit. So as you can see, I didn't label every single thing, but all the main pieces that would need to get back to a spot, I went ahead and labeled. We actually ran into Walmart and we saw that Home Edit had released their like organizational bin line. So I grabbed one of everything. There's a few things I got multiple of just cause I thought I would need it for different spaces. So first I'm gonna show you everything I bought and what's in their line and then we are gonna get to organizing. Okay, so before we get started, let me just show you everything I bought. And like I said, I bought everything in the collection that my Walmart had. So I don't know if there's more, but I feel like I got it all. So I grabbed two of these and it's called the Narrow and Neat. And it's just the everything narrow bin. I feel like these will be so helpful to have. And I have this like in my pantry section, but you can use any of these anywhere you like. I mean, they're just clear bins, but this does give you an idea of how to use it. And that's why I like it. So this one right here is the five piece pantry 
poetry edit. I love seeing the pictures. Um, if you guys have been around for a while, I actually did a um, home style edit declutter video um, in my last house, so I'll link that down below. But once again, I just love that it comes in sets. Um, I'm pretty sure, yeah, this is the same thing right here. It's just laying a different way but right here you can see everything that it comes with the reason i grabbed two of these is because i already have two of these like spice rack um can holders and so i knew i'd want two of the clear ones and then it also has the lazy susan um over here this is the 10 piece piece bass set i think this is going to be so helpful i love that it comes with 10. um buying stuff for drawers can be overwhelming you don't know how many you're going to need um i don't know it just can be hard so I love that this already comes with so many so you can make your drawers work. If you needed to grab a few of these, you could. I'm going to link all of this down below in my description box just in case you're curious or you can run to your local Walmart. This one is the five piece laundry edit. Like I said, you can use this in your laundry room if you need it in your pantry, if you need it in your bathroom. It all works. I feel like a lot of these are the same things. They've just clustered them in to make it easier for buying. This one's just the eight piece multi-purpose edit. There's a picture. So if you can tell if you're new, they are all about organizing like rainbow style. Let me show you a picture of them right here. So they have a Netflix series, but they started out on Instagram. So definitely check them out. You will be addicted. And then I just grabbed three of these extra, like everything large bins. Cause I feel like you can use these anywhere. Toys, chips, laundry, wherever you need them, you're going to be able to use them. So now that you can see everything I bought, let's get to organizing. Have this feeling. I did also want to mention that Lindsay from Lindsay Life and Style um, talked about she went and bought these as well and her video is actually going up tomorrow so I'm gonna leave the link to her channel um, down below in my description box once her video goes live I'll switch it to that link but definitely be on the lookout for her video if you want to see how she uses these products because it's always helpful to see how different people use them Just so you can see everything that comes inside the pantry kit, it is one of these, two of these smaller ones, and then two of these bigger ones, just so you have an idea. Like I said, I bought two because I was needing at least two of these. So that's everything that comes in this little set here. Okay guys, just in case you're wondering about the quality, I've been popping up on the screen the prices just so you have an idea, but I feel like it's very, very well priced. I feel like it's very high quality. I will say I don't have like a container store around here, so I can't compare it to that, but it seems way nicer than most of the pieces I've been buying. I did look up some of their pieces because they do have um, the home edit collection at the container store and the prices are way higher. And I swear some of the pieces are exactly the same. Um, I'll try to mention those as I see them, but I am very happy with everything. I feel like it's super high end. It's going to last really well. Um, and the prices are really good. So $25 for a set, I feel like is great. If you even go to Target and look at their organizers, they add up quickly. So I feel like this is a really good buy. Won't let you touch me, won't let you go to my head. Cause I know I'm dealing with the devil. But I'm standing with my heart in your head. And I'm too deep into it. I do want to say that, like, these clear bin organizers are not a must. You can organize your pantry without them. But if it is in the budget and you like the way it looks, I do feel like it looks nicer. It keeps grouped items together. Um, then you can kind of see when you're running low, things aren't scattered throughout the entire pantry or inside a cabinet. So I feel like they're very helpful. You're gonna see I'm not taking stuff out of the packaging. Um, to me, that just got to be so much work, but I am taking it out of the box that it came in. So I feel like just doing that step, it's easy to do, it still looks nice. Now my pantry is gonna be more colorful since I'm not taking it out of the packages, but I'm okay with that just because it is a little bit easier than putting everything into clear containers with lids on them. So 
so right here you can see the difference it was in this cardboard bin with the orange packaging it's still orange because it's in the clear bin but I can see how many I have I'm not gonna get confused on it now I will say you could use that cardboard and make it look nicer say you're on a tighter budget you could spray paint it you could wrap it in some type of paper if you want to especially if you like pattern and color that would be a good way to go but I feel like less is more especially when it comes to color so already having all of the colorful packages is enough for me so having clear bins where I can see straight through them and it's not any adding any extra like layers of color or texture works best for me Real quickly, I'm gonna go ahead and open up this eight piece multi-purpose edit because I feel like I could use some of these smaller ones in my pantry. Um, the main areas that I'm gonna be focusing on are my pantry and then my bathroom. Um, I may try these in the laundry room since there's like a whole laundry room, room um, kit, but I'm just, my main, main focus is to make this pantry look nice. So let's open up this so I can show you guys like what is exactly inside of it. Okay, so in the eight piece multi-purpose edit, you get two of these big ones again. So keep that in mind. You may not need to buy extra of these because it's coming within the bins. Then you get this size, two of them, this size, two of them, and then two small ones. I feel like this is a great kit because you get so many sizes, um, especially in the pantry. I don't always need a huge one for like, kind of like breakfast bars. I think it'll work good in one of like um, this size right here. So I like having different sizes. Now I'm typically, since I'm pretty much organized in here, I'm just bringing out and putting food in the bins and putting them in. But if you don't have any bins at all, you might clear out your whole pantry and see how the bins fit and then start putting food in. But I kind of was already working with a system I had, so I'm just making it look nicer and getting bins to keep things like organized. Look at this side, like it's already looking so much better. Okay, since we were low, it actually fits in the smaller one. When we get a new package, I may need to move it over to a big one, but for now, this works great. The reason why I love this better than in this container, because you're like, Ashley, you're putting it from one clear container to the next, they're not getting smashed this way. When we were throwing them in here, like they're all bent and kind of broken because we were just chunking them in and they were landing on top of each other. I like that this keeps me even a little more organized so we don't like smash our food. You'll have to keep in mind when you're buying the sets that even those like everything large bins, those are $10 a piece. And I feel like most of the sets were coming with two of them. So that's already $20 of the $25 kit. Plus you're getting all the extra ones with it. So I feel like you are getting a better deal with the like collection kits. So keep that in mind, know what you're going in for, or you can click on the links down below. Sometimes it's easier to shop online because you can like process what you're needing and what you're wanting. So I'll have those links for you down below. Okay, so I'm trying to assess as I go and I have quite a few of these and they just look so nice. So um, I don't have to switch these out, but just so everything kind of flows, I feel like I'm gonna replace these and I can use these anywhere in my house. I never really get rid of like a clear bin organizer because you can use them so many places. Um, these aren't even the home edit, but they're still the nice clear. So I feel like they're tying in with these. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch out these down here and I'm gonna see how many big ones I can fit across. Thank you. 
I honestly think these bins will look beautiful when I can actually label them. I'm not gonna do that today. Just organizing alone was enough for today. When you're working on your pantry, sometimes it can be super overwhelming, but it's always so rewarding at the end and I'll worry about making labels another day. So don't feel pressured to get like everything done in one day. If you can just get your pantry organized and decluttered, I call that a win. Another tip, if you're starting to stock up like me, I feel like sometimes the stores, it's getting harder to find the things you need. Plus I shop at Sam's a lot, so we buy in bulk. I feel like these containers are great for that because you're gonna have so much overflow. You're gonna have more than one item. It just kind of keeps everything together and makes it look nice and neat if it's gonna be in a space that you're in every single day. And I don't even cook much and we're in our pantry a lot and I just want it to look nice and clean when I open it. I did recently grab these Lazy Susans from the Target dollar spot. I wanna say they were like $5, but since I had two clear ones, I wanted to go ahead and switch it over. I like when things look alike and match. So I went ahead and moved it over. I also like how this rim is very low profile so you can pull it off easier. It's not having to go across that bar. So my Target ones will be good to decorate with, but I'm happy with how these look in the pantry. Okay, so I just opened up the five piece laundry edit just because I wanted this piece out of it because I'm gonna use it in my pantry. So just remember, you can mix and match these pieces. Maybe you want this set for your pantry, that's fine. So that's why I'm trying to show you what's in every set. I will say what's cool about this one with these bins, it's got this cutout. I'll show you how they have like, they're using it for like their laundry detergent and like iron, but this would be really good for like kids snacks, snack size Cheez-Its or something like that because they can still reach in and grab it. So I think this would be great for the pantry as well, but I was just jumping in here to get this guy. But just so you can see, it comes with two of those, two of these. Let me see if they're stackable. So they're even stackable. So if you have a little kid that can reach in there and like grab something, you could do that as well. But I'm just gonna steal this out of it real quickly. Okay, and just so you guys know, that big bin with the cutout, when you get on the container store, it looks identical to it from the home edit, and that alone was $21.99, and you get two of them in this set, plus more organizers for only $25, so keep that in mind, because I think that's a really good steal if you're gonna be needing those. Just a friendly reminder, anytime you're decluttering, organizing, it always gets worse <laughs> before it gets better. I know you guys don't always see like behind the camera, so I just wanted you to see things are gonna get messy. But in here, it's starting to get pretty and once it's done, it's worth it. But just wanted to give you a little reality check. little tip when organizing sometimes you have to try it a few ways to see which way fits best so this can be putting the organizers into a space or this can be what's going inside the organizer definitely try it going different directions because sometimes it doesn't seem like it'll fit better and it actually does and that's what happened um, with these spices when I was organizing them okay First, I'm gonna show you my kitchen. I have these left over that I can use somewhere else. These are even pretty setting out for different places. I might use these in my laundry room now. I think this is the one set I haven't opened up yet, which is the bathroom one. I think I'm gonna be doing that one next because I'm really excited about it. 
Um, these are the containers I have left to work with for either my bathroom or the laundry room. I don't know if I'm gonna make it in there today or not. This one was exhausting, <laughs> but it is done. I mean, it's not completely Pinterest worthy because I didn't take things out of the package. Now, if it's something like hot chocolate or like oatmeal, I feel like taking it out of the box helps. This just makes it look prettier. When these two are gone, it's gonna look even better like when their ones aren't sitting on top, kind of more like this. But for now, you can just see, this is prettier than a box. Same goes with this. When I buy some of the stuff, we get it from Sam, so we get a ton of it. And instead of having a ton of cardboard boxes, you can actually see like what's in here so food doesn't go bad, you know what you have. I feel like this saves so much money, especially with kids, so they can see. Um, you can just see everything's in nice little clear dividers. I love the way it looks. This is like the most colorful area in my house <laughs> just because everything else um, is just so neutral. But when it comes to the pantry, just having like a ton of like these clear bins just it wasn't working for me it's fine in products that i'm not like switching out all the time but i just don't mind anymore having stuff like this i still like having these for some reason i picked these up from like the dollar tree um these were from like home goods so you can see you can like mix and match with their products so like put theirs front and center so it's nice and pretty and then off to the side you can have like the cheaper ones that you don't notice um you could also label these i'm sure i'll do it at some point like i have these labeled i'm just too tired to be honest with myself to go do a few more spaces but i am really really happy with the way it turned out Okay, now I'm gonna open up this real fast in here and then we can head to my bathroom. Since we only have this left and these three items, I don't think I'm gonna work on my laundry room. I feel like last time, can I get these over here without dropping them? Um, I feel like I just recently organized in there and I don't need a ton of like bins. So hopefully I can just use all of these in our master bathroom. Okay, so as far as the bathroom kit or bundle, whatever they call it goes, you get three of these bigger ones four of these like medium size and then three of these small ones they're so pretty if you have tons of storage you might need a couple of these <laughs> um, i don't know how far these are gonna go my bathroom is so overwhelming at this point i don't even know what i'm gonna do i also got some more of my red aspen nails in so i'll definitely be organizing those but just for another dose of reality i want you guys to see inside these cabinets, I know you guys all think, let me turn some lights on, that my house is perfectly organized, but let's start underneath the Chase's sink. His is probably way better than mine. Yeah, look at that. This is like our toothbrush drawer. I don't even think I'm gonna deal with this today. Like, it all just needs to be deep cleaned and I don't think I have it in me. And when I actually like put things where they belong, it looks nice. This is a drawer I kind of need to tackle that I keep trying to. Underneath here, it's not terrible. <laughs> I just need to work on it. Up here, I have like some products I need to organize. So I don't know if I'm going to use the bins in there. Let me flip this light on just to help. And then down here, we've got the baseline going. So I might like tidy it up. I don't know. I'm gonna bring the bins in here and just start, but I'm not gonna lie. There's so many areas that I'm like, I need to declutter. Do I need bins? Do I not need bins? What's happening? Why can't I keep this thing clean? <laughs> so, not everything is perfect in my house. <laughs> 
Okay, so I brought all my products in here just so I know exactly what I'm working with. I try to keep like sizes together so you also have an idea. I decided with Chase, I'm not even gonna bug his stuff. Like, he has a system, I'm not gonna touch it. This, I'm gonna try not to touch today just because I need to deep clean things. The first place I'm gonna start is right here. I think this will be an easy place to start to get me back motivated with some of these and then we'll move on from here. Right here just goes to show what three minutes and one bin <laughs> can do. So this is just one organizer. This is that cutout kind that was from like the laundry room set. I just put my like little appliances right here, cleaning supplies, my trash can. A lot of it was just trash and a lot of it needed just to be grouped together. So hopefully all the rest of mine go this quick as two but if you feel like projects are going to take long sometimes they do but typically the ones you're most worried about just don't you just have to get started now we're going to move on to this drawer and honestly no one sees this drawer but me so i'm probably going to save these nicer ones for stuff that's going to just look nicer and not going to end up looking like this I have this cloth bin in here and it keeps kind of just getting messed up that one since I have so many of these clear bins left over for my pantry that I previously had in there I'm gonna try reworking those in here and see if I can make this work a little better okay so I was totally just about to organize this drawer and I was like I wish I had a few small ones I forgot I had ran by Target like the dollar spot um, I bought these last year when they came out. They come out like right around this time. And like this size, you get two for a dollar. These are one dollar, but they're a good size. I picked up a few of those. This size is two for a dollar, and I picked up a few of those. So I actually have these to work with as well. So if the home edit style isn't in your budget, which is fine, it's not always been in my budget. Dollar Tree has dollar organizers. Obviously, they're not this big. Um, they have bigger ones. They may not be clear, but um, Target Dollar Spot do carry these. They're not completely clear, but they still look really nice. These are really good for like drawer organizers, makeup, cotton balls, like pencils. You can use these so many different places. So when my dollar spot gets them i like to just grab a ton and keep them on hand and a bin in my garage so when i do get motivated to organize like i do now i have some to work with and like i said they're only a dollar so even if you're on a small budget you can definitely still make it work so you think you were right mm -hmm. bring it up bring it up prove me this drawer was full of my hair just because it had all my hair products in it. So I just took a second to go ahead and vacuum it out before I put new things in it. It's worth it to take a few seconds to clean it because it'll look so much better once you have it organized, especially if you're putting clear bins in because you're going to see right through them. Okay, so here's like a realistic organization. Um, I think it's gonna function better for me. This is like stuff I use um, when I'm putting makeup on, just like head wraps. Um, this is like all different hair clips, rubber bands, and then any of my hot tools I have in this one bin. So once they cool off, I can just like wind them up and put them in there. So I'm hoping this system works a little bit better than my last one because I'm happy with like the way it looks. This is the next spot that I don't think it's gonna take much. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use these bins. Honestly, I don't even think, let me see if they would fit. Oh yeah, they would fit. But I'm gonna work with what I have if I need some of these or down here I'll use them, but I think I can do this in like less than three minutes and it'll look nice. Okay, 
final reveal that looks so much better. So just by filling up your spaces with organizers, that's kind of how I did it this time. I put as many in there that would fit. As you can see, there's like this open spot back there, but it's okay. If I had a ton, I could have made it work. I think if I would have used these, I could have made it fit, but I want to save those so they're kind of all used together. And this is just like our toothpaste drawer, so not a ton of people see it. So as you can see, that's looking good. That looks really good. Just from like when I walked in here 20 minutes ago, it's already feeling like so much better. Now I'm gonna begin working on this space. Typically I have no idea what I'm gonna do until I get started. I just need to start working on it, otherwise I put it off. So let's get to going. I really hope you guys are enjoying today's video and getting some motivation. If you are, be sure and give it a thumbs up if you're liking it. And if you're new here, I'd love for you to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. But let's keep organizing. This top half is finished now. This is where like a label, like my Cricut machine, I'm gonna come in and eventually one day label these just because I can't really see the ones in the back. So if I had a clear label that said like hair mask, moisturizers, razors, I mean obviously I can still see it and move it, but makeup, it would just be easier. Um, and right now I know what they are because I just organized them, but eventually I may forget this was all different kinds of cleansers or this is different type of hand lotion or whatever it may be. So like I said, one day I will come in and organize that, but at least now it's broke down into smaller bins because when it was in that one big one, I just kept throwing into it. I didn't realize what I had, didn't have. So my daughter does a lot of skincare and she tries a lot, but she's also very sensitive. So when she can't use the product and if we can't return it, I'll just save it in here for me to try. So typically I don't have this amount of product but she's going through the stage where she's growing up and trying things, so I have it in here. I also have a lot of like extra back here just with Christmas time when stuff goes on sale and it's a really good deal, I just like to buy up so it'll save me money. So I have a lot of excess right now. Same goes with like um, hairspray. When I find a good hairspray at Ross, it's so cheap, I grab it. Um, I got this for $9.99 and I actually walked in and I think it was at Reesers, it was like, 20 bucks, so I saved $10 a bottle on that. Um, so yeah, I got that looking good. This isn't gonna take too long. I just need to straighten it up. I do have some organizers left, so I'm gonna figure out how I wanna do my nails so I can see them a little better. So I don't think this should take very long at all. So I haven't talked about my nails lately, so I just wanted to mention again that I still am wearing red aspen nails. I love them. I felt like every time I was going to the salon, I was spending like $55. I remember in high school, it used to be like $15 for a fill and $20 for a new set, which I know times have changed, but I love that these are anywhere from like $13 to $15. Um, they say they last up to two weeks. I have to like rip mine off at three weeks or soak them off if I want them to come off or switch out the set. So I feel like they hold up really well. They have so many different colors and patterns and shapes. I'll buy whatever size I need and then just clip them and file them down to size because I like mine super short. Um, but I love this product. It's affordable. You can reuse them. So if you're needing like an at-home mani, if you're trying to save money or you're just sick of going to the salon or you never leave happy when you go there because I know that's me all the time, definitely check these out. I'll leave my link down below because I absolutely love them. Give it up, give it up. And there is the last cabinet. 
The only thing I wish I could do is I need to find a bin where these can face like the same direction as all of these. I'll have to look and see if I have one that would fit that way or I just need to rotate these. Basically, these are all the nails that I like to wear. I do buy these like fun ones and even long ones because a lot of my nieces or Savannah's friends like to come in here and do it. And so obviously they don't want all neutrals. So I have some like more fun nails back there, which I guess that may work because that's easier for me to remember. Like those are all their nails and I can just grab out for them. I don't know. Anyways, think it looks good. All of these spaces just like feel so much better. It's like I know it's a lot but anymore I just feel so much better being stocked up on items and I tend to do it more too just in the winter because if we get a really bad ice storm or anything around here I just like have things on hand. We're not going to talk about that drawer. Um, so yeah everything's looking great. and I'm gonna try to give you as many like tips and hacks as possible because I know those are super helpful. So anytime I'm organizing a space, I try to pick one space, otherwise this can be super overwhelming. So you could do tons of spaces in one day or just pick one and feel very accomplished. So the first place I'm gonna start is this hall closet. It's basically my daughter's closet. It's all of her like crafts and homeschool. We also keep like board games in there. So I feel like the easiest way to get started is to go ahead and pull everything out and then you know what you're working with. Oh, you know. Once you pull everything out of a closet or a bedroom or whatever you're organizing, even if it's drawers, you start to realize how much stuff you have. So as you can see, I'm not touching the board games. I just put them up there. Um, typically I have them lower in the summer, but we've started school. So I went ahead and moved them back up. But some of my shelves got messed up because we had like, um, kind of like a tin basket in there and it was really scratching. So I switched it up for a plastic one, but I'm going to grab my magic eraser and see if I can get some of those scuffs off. What are you doing to me? I think I'm going crazy. Okay, so as you can see right here, it's come up a lot. Like it's really lightening up all that dark. So I'm gonna grab my um, barkeeper's friend and see if I can get the rest off so I don't have to like repaint this shelf. Anytime that you've cleared something out like this, this is definitely the time to get it clean. I know your focus is organizing, but there's no reason to put everything back into like a dirty closet or a dirty room or a dirty drawer. So just taking a few minutes and vacuuming the space out or dusting it, you'll be glad when you're putting everything back in and everything looks a lot nicer and neater. Oh, you know. As you can tell, I already have like bins and stuff like that. I've clearly organized this closet before, but once you organize something, it doesn't mean it's finished. Typically you have to go back in and maintenance it. And that's kind of what I'm doing right now. Some of her pins got mixed up with like markers and pencils. So I'm kind of just going back through. This is also a really, really, really good time to declutter. So if there's markers that are dried out or crayons they're not using anymore, or they're broken, if you're inside your closet and it's clothes you're not wearing, definitely don't put it back in your closet. Just pull it out right now and you'll be glad that those items aren't in there. I wanna put you in that spotlight. Anytime you're organizing a space and you can label, I say do it because I feel like it elevates the space, especially for kids. It helps them to know where their pieces go back. So if this is in a closet or right here in a craft closet, 
Now it doesn't work perfectly, but it does help for, for the main idea. Like right here, these I have not reorganized since I put these labels on. She knows it right where they go. Then I don't have to come in here and clean it up. And when she needs like a purple pin, she knows exactly where to go and she doesn't have to waste time looking for it. Once it's time to start putting everything back, especially if you're in a child's area, think of their height. So think of the things they're gonna need the most and put them where it's the most easily accessed. So all Savannah's homeschool stuff, I don't want it to be way high, I don't want it to be way low, I want it to be right there eye level when she walks into a space. And keep that in mind for how old your child is, how tall they are. If you have young kids and paints and markers, you may want those up high so they can't just go grab them and use them. But as Savannah got older, I pulled them down so she doesn't need me to go create pieces. She can just grab them and work on them. So definitely keep all those things in mind when you're organizing a space for yourself or for your children. Now it is time to move on to the next space. We're gonna head into my kitchen. I have like two junk drawers and one I love. I feel like it's super organized. I'm sure you can tell which one that is. It's on the right. And then the one on the left is just a hot mess. I don't feel like I need two junk drawers and so I decided to make a coffee drawer. So I ordered this like K-Pod holder organizer thing on Amazon. I will link it down below in my description box and thought, okay, I'm gonna use one of these instead of the junk drawer but I wanted it to be like right underneath the coffee pot. So I'm gonna move my right drawer <laughs> into my left drawer and then create that coffee drawer. Even though this is a smaller space, I'm using those same steps as I did in Savannah's closet. I cleared everything out, then I cleaned it. Now I'm gonna start organizing it. So this is where if you have dividers or whatever you're using to organize the space, you can bring it in. And now you can start putting everything back into the area that you're organizing. I love this guy. I looked for a clear one, but it wasn't gonna make it in time for the video. So if you want like a clear one, you can definitely do that as well. But We've had a drawer before right here with coffee in it and it just slid everywhere. It drove me crazy and never looked organized. So I am super excited about this little bad boy right here. It just looks so pretty. I don't even drink coffee, but I'm not gonna lie. I keep walking past there to open the drawer just to look at it. Anybody else do that when they organize or is it just me? Little pods are made for cleaning so occasionally I will stick it into our coffee pot just to make all the insides make sure those are getting clean they're really nice to have on hand and I'm pretty sure they're from Amazon as well so I'll link those two now I'm gonna go ahead and bring the straws down I had them up in a coffee cup with the coffee cups <laughs> but now that we have a drawer it'll be nice just to plop those down this would be cool to do even in the winter with like a um, Oh, what is it called? Oh, a hot cocoa drawer or hot chocolate. I don't drink that either because I don't like chocolate, but these drawers will be fun for Chase and Savannah and just guests that come over. Up next, it's a combination of the last two things we organized. It's in the kitchen, but it's Savannah's space. So I like to have all her items down low. Her friends even know where to go so they don't have to ask for anything. They can just reach and get whatever they need. 
um, but it just hasn't been organized well. It's always a mess. It was even somewhat put together when I just showed you, but it's even looked worse than that. So I went ahead and bought this little shelf system off Amazon again. I know I talk about them a lot, but they're just so easy to order from and it shows up at your front door like in two days. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this together and then we'll get that space organized as well. In case you're in the market for something like this, these shelves are adjustable. So you can put them wherever you need them. So if you have like short cups or tall bottles, whatever you need to do to make it work, it is completely adjustable, which makes it super nice that you can just like make it fit the area that you need. Another quick reminder, if you're not good at organizing, I'm gonna say this again, I'm using those same steps. So I'm gonna pull everything out so I know what I'm working with. If you need to declutter at this point, do it. But I did recently declutter a lot of her cups. So what she has down here, she wants. And then I'm gonna finagle this piece in. It took me a second, but I got it. Um, when you have kids areas or young kids in your house, it's really good to let them have their own space. Now, nothing in here is breakable. So no matter what she gets or her friends get and they drop, it's not gonna break. So keep that in mind. But it's really good for kids to have their own spaces when they reach that age so she can get her own drink. I don't have to go in there a million times and get a cup down for her. She's not crawling all over my cabinets. Her and her friends can go in, get what they need and get a drink and it makes them feel old and responsible and they start learning to take care of themselves. So if you have a growing kid, just kind of keep that in mind. As you can see now with the after, this space is going to function so much better. She can see all the cups she has. She can grab it when she's going to dance. Um, I just feel like this piece worked out really well. And like I said, it's Amazon, so I'll have that linked for you. Now we're gonna work on another cabinet in my kitchen. As you can tell, that's kind of the spaces I was needing to get organized. So this is where I keep all my Tupperware for like leftovers. You can tell I'm missing some. Some of it was in the refrigerator, some of it was in the dishwasher. But all these lids are starting to crack. I had a, quite a few of you tell me that I could just get on and reorder the lids. Um, the ones I was wanting, it was kind of pricey. Like I was just wanting to get like gray and black lids. And so I ended up finding these on Amazon for a really good deal, so I'll link them. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull these out of the box and then I'm gonna get them clean and then we're gonna organize this cabinet. I would say we were good together. So far, I'm really loving these containers. I was trying to find some without color. You guys know me, I'm not a huge fan of color. So the fact that they're all clear, I love. I also love glass. Now I know that's different if you like still have like a nine to five job that you leave to go to work, you may not wanna carry glass cause it could break. But for us, we're eating all of our leftovers inside of our house. So it works better and I feel like they're just safer. But I'm gonna go ahead and stick them in my sink and hand wash them. Um, sometimes I just throw them in the dishwasher, but for video's sake, I didn't have time to do that cause I was filming. So we're gonna hand wash these, make sure they're nice and clean, and then we'll get them organized and put away. Anytime. 
time I show my sink, I always get a lot of questions of, do I like it? Is that it's just one big sink? I actually love it. I feel like it is a little bit harder to clean. You have to like push the water into the drain for the most part, but I also do that because I like to dry it out, but I love having it. I don't miss the divider at all. Um, I wish I would have had this when Savannah was a baby. I would have loved to have given her baths in it. So if you're trying to make up your mind, if you're remodeling or buying a home, I absolutely love ours. While I'm working on getting all of these hand dried and over on the other shelf so I can organize them, um, I wanted to let you guys know that I'm getting so close to 200K and I'm gonna be doing a huge giveaway. So once I hit that, I'm gonna put it in whatever video is coming up and it could be my next one. So definitely make sure you're subscribed here. Be on the lookout because it is a giveaway you do not want to miss. It's just my way of saying thank you for being here and supporting us. And I can't wait to share it with you. Now I'm gonna start putting it up in my cabinets. It did take me a few times to figure out how I wanted to do this. They're not huge and so they weren't taking up a ton of space. Um, and my intentions were to get rid of my other Tupperware, but I have a really hard time of giving away um, Tupperware and blankets. I hoard both of them. So you're gonna see here in the after shot, I end up keeping all of it. Um, if I didn't have the space, I would get rid of it, but I felt like my um, cabinets could hold both of them. So I just decided to keep them. Now we're going to move on to my refrigerator. This is a space I'm just not good at organizing. I've talked about this before. My refrigerator and my pantry, I just can't figure out how to organize it to make it stay that way. Maybe it's just because there's so many people in and out of them. It's just a space that you can't. I don't know, if you guys know how, let me know. I haven't figured it out. <laughs> I've even thought about hiring somebody to do it, but I'm like, if we're just gonna mess it up anyways, does it really matter? So I'm gonna go ahead. This one's a little bit different. I didn't pull everything out. I probably should have, so I could have cleaned it, but it's not that bad. But I pulled out most of the pieces, and then if I liked where the pieces were, I didn't really move those. Just a little tip when you are organizing um, your refrigerator, not that I'm like an expert in this area, but I do have some bins. So I have like dinner bins that I try to keep them in so we know what to look for. I try to keep drinks together. Basically, I try to keep like items together, but like I said, I'm not an expert. So if you know how to do it better, totally do it. But here is how it looks after I kind of just messed with it a little bit. It's not perfect, but at least it's not like super cluttered and dirty. The things I would say now I get rambling on. I sound so cliche. What I am trying to do is say I love you. Also, here's another little trick. I got this bin from the Dollar Tree and it holds your sauces perfect. So then you can see everything you have, especially if they're Chick-fil-A sauces, it's like made for it. And I just keep it in the bottom shelf so Savannah can actually reach them. Now I do have a drawer um, on our refrigerator, so I'm gonna work on that real quickly as well. For the most part, it's organized, but things in the dividers kind of get mixed up. So I was just kind of fixing those. And 
here is what it looks like. Once again, I try to keep items in here that Savannah can get to easily because she can just open the drawer and grab it and make a sandwich or a few things that she needs, grab an apple, but here's how it turned out. The sun in my face, it's so well needed. Life will take care of the rest. Biking alone in the sunset through the For the last few weeks, I just felt like my house was like caving in on me. I felt like every cabinet and drawer I was opening was just so full and so stuffed and I was just ready to take my house back. So if you feel the same way, I'm going to be sharing lots and tips and tricks throughout this video. So I know decluttering can be really hard on some people. I will say the more you do it, the easier it gets. It becomes like a game and it feels so good to like drop a load off at donations or give it to a friend or have a garage sale and make some extra money for pieces you actually want and love. But the more you clear out, like the lighter your body feels, it's almost like losing weight. And I know that doesn't make sense because it's not on you, it's in your home, but it will free your mind <laughs> so much more than you ever realized. So definitely try it out. I feel like bathrooms and closets are the easiest way to start. We're less attached to those items. So that's where I'm gonna start. That's where you should start. So let's get going. If you don't do these often, you should, especially if you've been in the same house for a while, things just make their way in and you don't realize it. Um, a good little tip that I learned is to stand back and take a picture and then look at the picture and you'll see how cluttered your house is. There's something about you see it better like in a photo or on your phone than with your like eyes in real life. So definitely do that and see if it works for you. I think that the reason that works is we get so used to just clutter in our house. We stop even noticing it's there, but once you see a picture, you kind of pinpoint it more. You're kind of out of your space, even though you're looking at the space, it's not like in the same lighting and you're not just standing there. You're actually looking at your phone or a photo. So I've heard this a million times and I think it really does help. So just kind of go through your house, stand back and take pictures and see what you think. It might be fine. It may not work, but maybe it does for a few of you and it'll help you just see the areas you need to declutter or work on. Once I finish decluttering a space, I like to go back in and organize it or tweak it. Most areas in my house already has some type of system, so I've organized it in the past and I just need to refresh it. Once you organize, it doesn't mean it's gonna stay that way. It just means you have to go and fix it occasionally, just refresh it, reset it. So I like to color code my clothes and then I also have them separated from like short sleeve and like long sleeve. So I have all my sweaters put up right now because it is so stinking hot here in Oklahoma. But then I have all like my tank tops and short sleeves down below and those are all color coded. Typically I wear black every day, just like in this video, I smell in a little frisky and I have like a tan on, but most days I just wear all black. So that's why you see so much of that in my closet. So I don't know if you can tell right here, but I got rid of a ton. I moved everything to my living room just so you can see like overall what it's gonna look like when I'm finished. 
but it feels better. But let me take you in there so you can see all the items I got rid of. Here are all the pieces I got rid of. So it's basically like 12 tops and 11 bottoms and this pile of jewelry. So I feel really good so far how it's going. Um, so let's keep moving. Now that we can check closet off the list, we're gonna go into my bathroom. I have been itching to go through like all of my like nail polishes and skincare products. I feel like I have stuff sent to me. I'm buying stuff. My mom sends me stuff. My sister, we just like switch things out and I just feel like I'm like exploding inside these cabinets back here. So I'm so excited to go through these and I wanna see how much I can get rid of. So when I open them up, it's just pretty and simple, clean and organized. One of my best tips is just to be ruthless when you're decluttering. Now, if it's something you use all the time, keep it in your house. But if it's not something you've used in a while, really think about if you need it. I know most of the reason everybody hangs on to something is I might need it later, but typically you don't. But if that is your train of thought, grab a tub or grab a few tubs, put it all in there, put it out in the garage, put it up in a closet, put it in the attic. And if you don't go back and need it within the next like two to six months, then you know you're not gonna need it. So that's just kind of the safe way of doing it. But typically if it's like out of sight, out of mind, you don't need it. Now, if you go in that tub to get something out, it does mean it needs to stay. So that's just an easy way of doing the decluttering process. Um, to get motivated, the best thing you can do is like watch shows, even look at like photos on Pinterest and see the style you want and notice if they have a lot of decor out. Notice what they have in there. Maybe it is a lot of decor, maybe it's not. Then you kind of know what you're working towards. Another thing you can do is watch YouTube videos. I know I have a lot of posted and I know a ton of other girls on here that has decluttering and organizing content. And just watching that like the night before or just the morning of really will get you inspired and motivated to go through your house and just create this very clean space. If I do have any girls on here that creates like cleaning content, especially if it's like decluttering or organizing, definitely link your channel down below in the comments section. Then anybody here that's looking for more videos like this to keep you motivated, maybe you just wanna turn it on while you're decluttering your house, definitely click those links down below and support those ladies. Now that I have this all done, I probably should have taken it before. I didn't even think about it, but it was just a hot mess. Already out of this cabinet, I've cleared out this much stuff. That pile over there, I just have to put away somewhere else. But when I used to use my lashes, like a different brand, it used to come with this glue and I used a different glue and I just kept saving it for some reason. And now I have all this like, lash eyeliner glue like that's excessive i don't need it all of this stuff so it feels good to like just clear out the trash clear out stuff that's old stuff i'm not using so let's look at this one i don't think this one's near as bad it just needs some tweaking maybe a little bit of decluttering so let's go through this cabinet now So I was filming this and I actually have like a window in my bathroom and it was like a cloudy day. So you're gonna see it like get bright and dark cause this is kind of like a time lapse. I've sped it up and there's just like clouds to cover the sun and then it goes away. So sorry for the lighting. It was just one of those days outside. What can I do? What can I do? Ooh, 
So here is how we are looking. I know there's still a lot of stuff in here, so I like to buy up on some things when they're on sale or when I can get a discount. Um, so I have like multiple, you know, dry shampoo and hairsprays. My sister is actually a hairstylist, so when she comes in, I can go um, to like the beauty store with her and get stuff at cost. So I like to just buy up. So when she is in town, I can make it last until she comes back again. Um, I have a lot of different like kind of beauty products because Savannah's always having me try different things and this is all the stuff I'm kind of loving. These are all makeup bags and stuff with traveling. This is kind of my overflow and extra items up here. Um, when we buy toothpaste, we buy it from Sam, so there's <laughs> always a lot of it. But at least the stuff I'm not using, I have cleared out. It's organized. I can see everything. It looks so much better right here is everything that I'm getting rid of out of that cabinet. So I feel like we're making a dent. Now I'm gonna go through these. I don't think they're gonna be terrible, but while I'm in here, I definitely wanna go through them. Makeup is one of those areas it's kind of harder for me to get rid of because I like to change up occasionally like I want to know if I want to switch my lipstick even though I haven't worn that color in a while I might need it one day so I feel like with makeup I give myself a little more grace but I try to be ruthless on everything else now if it's old or cracked or broken or expired it definitely needs to go or if it's a color that I know I haven't grabbed in a while definitely toss it but there are certain areas in your house you can show yourself grace you don't have to like get rid of everything but just try not to keep things that you're not touching at all I know you want the best for me your intentions are good We are looking good. I'm gonna go ahead and condense a lot of this um, so I can take it to the living room. So I'm gonna just put it in like the empty boxes and bags. Now in real life, I wouldn't be keeping all of these piles. Um, I just wanted you to see how much even in my house I'm able to get rid of, but this might be a good technique for you. Maybe you're not filming it, but you need the reward system to see how much you're actually getting rid of. So if you want to keep a pile, so at the end of the day or end of the hour after decluttering, you can see how much you've gotten rid of, do it. You don't have to be filming to do it. Be proud of yourself. Take a picture, send it to your girlfriend. They'll be proud of you. Hey, if it works, do it. All we've done is my closet and bathroom and we have done a lot. But now I wanna go work on my um, just like nightgowns in my bedroom and slippers and stuff like that that I have out my bedroom and then that whole side of the house will be done. Before I work on these, I wanted to show you this so much. I mean, it's organized. This is the main drawer. And some of the stuff I use can be put up here. Basically, I gravitate towards like my favorite nightgowns anyway. So there's a ton of sets in here I've bought that I'm not wearing or only wore a few times like this one. So I need to just go through this. My <laughs> pajama drawer has never looked this bad. I'm really good about like not having too much. And for some reason, something happened. So let's work on this. I've never been one to feel guilty when I'm decluttering. If it's something I've used and loved and it's got holes or it's torn, I got my money's worth out of it. If it's a piece I can donate or give away, then someone else is going to get to use something that's just been sitting in my drawer or in my closet developing dust. So never ever feel guilty. Just do what you have to do. You either got your money's worth or you get to share it with someone else that can love and enjoy the item that you're getting rid of. This drawer obviously didn't change much, um, but that's nice and organized. This one <laughs> looks a ton better. I know there's a few open spots there, but some of my stuff's in the laundry, so I know they'll fit there. 
These I'm a little curious on. I like having them, but I don't wear them often. But I'm going to go ahead and go one more round of decluttering before I get rid of those. And then if I'm not wearing them, I'll do it next time just since there's still room for it. But these are all like my pajama pants. That's a set. That's a pair of pants. These are all sets, like long sleeve with shorts. And then right here, I have a few other shorts that will fit in those once I get laundry caught up. Now that I have this room done, it feels so much better. So if you can't declutter your whole house in one day, that's just fine. Make a list and slowly tackle it. Like I got my bedroom, bathroom, and closet done, and it's been less than an hour. So if that's all you have, stop and do it the next day. I have some more time because Savannah's about to go to dance, and so I have some just like kid-free time to get done. So I'm gonna keep going, but don't feel like you have to get it all done in one day space it out if you need to start that pile it really will keep you motivated and you will want to keep doing it um, from my experience whatever I do today does carry over in tomorrow it's not one of those when I wake up I'm like I'm done once I start decluttering I don't stop until I've gone through my entire house now it is kitchen time I honestly don't think there's a lot in here. I feel like I'm good about getting rid of stuff in the kitchen. Plus Savannah and I just did like a big declutter in here. She had a ton of cups she wasn't using and they're so hard to store. So we've already been through all of those, but it's really smart to go through those areas that you don't think you need to declutter because I'm sure you can at least find one or two things. So I'm gonna open up every cabinet and every drawer and hopefully find something in here to get rid of. There wasn't a ton in the kitchen, but I'm glad that I was able to get rid of just like a handful of things. Um, I don't know if I showed you with all of my nightgowns in here. Savannah had just a pile, so I put them in here. I went ahead off camera and went through like my underwear and rolls and socks and put all of that in here. So we're making a huge dent. The next place I wanna go through is my laundry room. So we're gonna head down that way, but so far I'm like really proud of myself. I feel like medicine is something you should be decluttering probably pretty often or at least once a year. And I honestly can't remember the last time um, I decluttered medicine and I know my bin is just about to explode. I also wanna work on like my essential oils and some stuff like that. I've got bins over here in the mud side of the room. I just wanna go through those, make sure there's nothing in there I can get rid of. If I can, I'm gonna toss it, donate it, whatever I can, but anything to like empty out those bins and give them some breathing room. Hoping that you will be mine Turn my life around Another tip when decluttering, I try to never declutter someone else's space. So like my husband's drawers, my daughter's drawers, if I'm decluttering, they can do it with me or on their own. But unless it's like a small kid and you're like decluttering broken toys and stuff, that I totally get. But if it's like your husband's space, let them be a part of it or let them do it. Also with these like family spaces with all this medicine, everything that I was gonna get rid of, I had my husband go through like off camera. I didn't wanna throw away or toss something that he was going to need because to me it may not be important, but to him it might be. So just keep your like family members that are living with you um, in the front of your mind because you never wanna get rid of something that's theirs. Um, so always ask first.
guys and welcome to Tilt Vacuum at Dewis Part. Today's video is all gonna be right here in my kitchen. I need to declutter, I need to organize, I need to label, I need to clean it, and then we're gonna put it all back together. So if you're needing that type of motivation, today is the day for you. So if you're new here, go ahead and click that red subscribe button and let's jump straight into today's video. Here is a beginning look of how the kitchen is starting. I know it doesn't look super cluttered. I keep a lot of things off my countertops, but a lot of the spaces inside definitely need it. But I did wanna just show you a before. And then before we get started decluttering, I'm just gonna take everything off my countertops. It gives me like a fresh, like blank space to work with. And I also wanna wipe off all the counters before I put everything back. I'm really good about cleaning off my countertops like I wipe them down probably two or three times a day but I don't move anything so it's really nice occasionally to take everything off and then it kind of shakes things up so if you want to put those items back in a different spot once you pull everything off it gives you the freedom to do that if you just move one or two things it really doesn't shake it up but if you take everything out of its spot and then go back and redecorate you definitely can change it up I didn't feel like I had much out on my countertops, but if you see here, it kind of fills up the tables. So there's more than you realize. And then once you see the kitchen without any decor, um, it's super white <laughs> and super empty. So it's amazing how like a few pieces can really just like warm it up. This is what it looked like when we like first moved in. I feel like I haven't seen this in a while. Especially if I would take these bar stools away, they're the only thing helping it. It's basically an all white kitchen, as you can see. This is gonna be the first area I work on because it shouldn't be too bad. I think I'll be able to move through it really quickly. The main area is down here. I need to take all of this out. I need to like sweep it out plus clean it. It's just like really dirty from our appliances being down there. Um, and then I'll rearrange it better. This drawer is fine. I mean, I could tweak it a little bit, but it's working really well. I could add some coffees there, but this system's working really well. I'm gonna tweak a few things in here because we have like coffee mugs here and here. We have water cups, cutting boards, and then these wine glasses we never touch. It's just if like friends and family come over, but I may need to declutter some of those. It feels like we have a ton up there for people that don't drink. <laughs> And then this one I think is fine as well. It's just more for serving purposes when we have stuff. There I am right there. <laughs> so I think that's fine. So I'm just gonna quickly work through this one so then I can mark it off the list. So the space is actually really dirty. So I'm glad I'm getting to do this because it definitely needed to be cleaned out and then just reorganized. Blue. 
Well, my floors are dirty now, but at least my cabinet's clean. Just a little tip, anytime you're cleaning out a space, definitely clean the items before you put them back in. If that's appliances, if it's makeup, whatever it is, be sure and just wipe it down. And now it is so much better. I should have done that a long time ago. It's clean, it's organized. This is like everything that was in there. So I will definitely be cleaning my floors at the end of today's video, but I wanna finish working on the other cabinets first. But this always makes me happy when I open up a door and it looks like this. Now this is the area I'm most excited to work on just because I want to make it more functional. Like I said earlier, if I could clear out one or two of these drawers so I could have extra space, that would be awesome and just have all of it down here. So I'm going to clear all this out and I'm also going to show you the products I bought to put in here that hopefully is going to help. Can you see how we've come so far? Hope you still come back to my heart. Okay, so to make this space work better and just look more pleasing to the eye, um, I'm gonna use two things. I got some containers from the container store. I actually don't have one that close by. It's a few hours away and we're just never out that direction. So I just placed an order online and what I picked up were like large shoe drawers. So I didn't notice any drawer dividers for underneath the sink, but these are just for shoes and they slide so well and they were actually really affordable and what's nice is you can like stack them on top of each other so I'm really hoping this is gonna work well underneath the sink and then once I'm finished organizing it I'm gonna take my Cricut Joy and label these and I think it's gonna look so cute and then you're gonna see what's in there I'll see when it's getting low so let's take all of this and all of this and make it look pretty I do want to thank Cricut for sponsoring today's video. If you haven't heard of them, I'm sure you have, but Cricut is like a smart cutting machine that allows you to create personalized projects with hundreds of materials. So you can customize whatever you want. It works with a software called Design Space, and I'm gonna show you how to use that, and it comes free with your machine. So that's where you can create projects and browse through like hundreds of images for fonts, designs. It's a really cool system. I'm showing you right here all the different labels you can choose from, and some of them are already designed. So you can customize your own. I'm gonna show you how to do that. But if you're not creative and you just wanna use something that they've already designed, you can do that as well and they have some really neat ones especially for your like kitchen and pantry so I didn't want an actual label I just wanted the words and they have some of the coolest fonts ever I'll look this one up and put it across the screen right here because it is my all-time favorite what I do is basically create one and then I just duplicate it over and over and over so all of them are the same size and then I go in and change the word for whatever I'm needing. So this could be your cereal, this could be your pasta. For me it was my cleaning supplies since I was working underneath my sink. So this software is really easy to use. So in the design space, you can create it and then it cuts it for you through the Cricut Joy. And even if you're doing like actual labels, I didn't realize until the first time I used it, it even cuts it out. So all you'll have to do is peel it like a sticker and put it on. Now, since I'm not doing that type of label, I'm doing words, I'm gonna show you how I use transfer tape um, to put it on and it is super easy I promise you're gonna see me I'm going back and forth I'm trying to show you how I'm organizing but I also want to show you how I worked on my labels but I promise you it is super easy it's step by step and it's gonna even tell you what to do it's gonna tell you to load the paper if you need a pin it's gonna tell you to put it in there if it needs the razor blade to cut it's gonna prompt you every time so you don't have to worry about not knowing what to do
When you're cutting a lot of words out, it is like programmed to put them all close together. You can override that, but I don't. The reason it does that is because it saves you vinyl. So if you print them out real spaced out, you're gonna waste a lot of product that you don't have to. So it's just like a money saver feature built into the system. I also highly, highly, highly recommend getting the little tool set that comes with it. It's gonna make your life so much easier. It's gonna make the projects easier to do and it just comes in a set and I always use those pieces. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of feel like a dentist or a hygienist when I'm doing it, but you'll thank yourself for grabbing those because it really does make it easier to work with. So you'll see once you pull off the excess label, you'll have the letters. That's when you're gonna take the transfer tape and just put it over those letters. And this is where you're transferring it onto. So you're just gonna kind of rub it out and then you're gonna pull off the white piece of paper and right here you can see the word. And it even has like a nice grid on it. So you can make sure you're getting everything straight. I'm gonna show you how to apply those, but once we get to that time in the video. So here is an update so far. It's working out really well. I still have stuff on the sides. I have stuff I don't use very often on the back of this. So if I need to reach back there and get it or just take one of these off, I can. But these side items I can grab pretty quickly. But the stuff I use the most are gonna be right here in the center and then in the drawers. So I'm gonna clean out these drawers over here and see if I can fit like sponges in here, maybe even some cleaning cloths. And then these two items I still need to find a spot for. And then all of this stuff I'm decluttering right now. I've got this feeling. I'm feeling you could be the one. I see no reason why I should ever let you go. I honestly enjoy organizing. It may take some work, it may stress you out when you're right in the thick of it, but once you're done, it's just so rewarding. It's something you can go look at and be proud of yourself. You can show your family. It's just nice to accomplish something, especially since we live in our homes and we see them daily. It's just so good to take care of them. Um, just a pro tip, cut your sponges, especially the magic erasers. If you go pick up a big one, you'll end up wasting the whole thing on a small project but if you just cut them into force they last so much longer so I'm not much of a hoarder you guys know I'm less is more unless it comes to blankets and cleaning products. I'm sure you can tell by today's video. I just love keeping both of those on hand. I want all I can get <laughs> and I'm constantly trying to find new ways to organize both of those issues. Wish you could see the things I see. I don't wanna wake up if I'm dreaming because you know I can't get like I mentioned earlier, these drawers were from the container store and they were super affordable and guys, I am loving them. It's creating so much more space and storage in this small little cabinet. I wish I would have grabbed these sooner because I've needed them in like all my houses. I'm going to like this system so much better. I love that I can even sort my cleaning cloths by brand because you guys know I have two that are my favorite. I've been using this one since before I was here on YouTube. I found this one during my YouTube journey and love it. And they've always been all crammed together, but I'm gonna love that they're underneath the sink with the cleaning bottles. So I can just open up one cabinet and grab what I need. I've got refills right here, but I love that I can like separate these out. And now I'm gonna have so much more space for my drawers over here. I cannot tell you how happy this makes me. I feel like I've been wasting so much storage in this house and my other two houses. I love that this gave me vertical storage. So anytime you're short on space or storage, try to go up. Try not to just cover the bottom, but go up and that's what it did. It's given me two 
empty drawers over here. I'm not even sure what I'm gonna do with it yet. I'm so excited to figure it out. But now all my cleaning products are under here. So let's go ahead and get these labeled because it's gonna look even better when I'm finished doing that. Okay, I have to admit that the Container Store and the Cricut Joy are like the perfect combination. Um, and just another tip as well, I don't know if I shared this earlier, I think I've shared it in other videos. When you're using your Cricut Joy, you can use it from a desktop or you can also do it from your phone. In today's video, I showed you from the desktop because I'm normally doing it from my phone. To me, it is so easy just to open it up on your phone and then it like Bluetooth to the Cricut Joy and you print it. it is super easy and I also love the size of the Cricut Joy. It's really easy to take with you. So if you need to do a project or you're going to a family member's house and want to help them out, it's just something you can like load up and go. It's not heavy, it's not bulky, it's just simple and you can make the coolest things with it. So you can either get your house organized, you can do gifts for friends, you can do gifts or projects to make money or all of the above. <laughs> Oh, and another tip because it was you lovely ladies that shared it with me, you can use the same transfer tape over and over and over. So I used to put a new transfer tape on each word and you guys said I could keep using that same one. So I just made sure it was big enough for the biggest word and it worked on all of them. So that's another money saver for like all the products you're buying and it'll help your products last even more. So just keep that in mind when you're doing your projects. I wanna put you in that spotlight, looking at you all night, put you in that spotlight. I also wanted to show you some other projects I've done in the past so you can see the different types of labels you can make. So if you want to go easier where you just peel the label off like a sticker and stick it on, you can do that just as easy. Um, so I feel like there's so many different things you can do with the Cricut Joy. But now I'm going to show you the before. It wasn't terrible. You can tell by it here. But look at the after, it is amazing. I catch myself just walking in there and like opening up the cabinet doors now just so I can look at it. <laughs> I'll sing until my lungs give out your Thanks again to Cricut for sponsoring today's video. I'm going to add their link down below in the description box, so definitely check that out. I promise you will not be disappointed. And then I'm going to also add the container store link because I feel like you need both of them in your life. Um, so both of those links are going to be down below. So I have a little bit of a mess going on, but I am so happy with the way this turned out. Right here you can just see the difference that labeling makes. It looked really good before but there's just something about putting labels on there. It just looks 10 times better. Plus I can store so much more down here. So now I'm going to work on a little cleanup and then we're going to finish up the rest of this kitchen. What are you doing to me? I think I'm going crazy. I want to figure out what to do with these two drawers now that they're empty. One issue that I'm having are the towels. Sometimes they get stuck and all of our like oven mitts are hid back here in the back. They're normally organized but apparently they're not today. So I think I'm going to put these towels down here. I do not have it in me yet to close these because it looks so pretty. So they're just going to stay open for now. <laughs> but let me move these towels down. I'm still going to have a lot of space so I've got to figure out what to do with it. If I haven't already posted my living room makeover, I'm not sure what order I'm putting these up in right now, but if I haven't, you're getting a tiny sneak peek of it right here, and I promise you it's going to be up really soon if it hasn't been posted already. Oh, you know. Okay, so this cabinet just used to be only like party and hosting supplies and it kind of is a little bit of a junk cabinet now. So I think I'm going to pull some of this out and put it in here. I might one day use this for something else. I'm just not sure what to do with the space. So I'm going to try to split these up so they both make more sense. 
It's not 100% yet, but I think over time I'll figure out how to use the space. But here's how this cabinet looks. This is all like party decoration. So it's leftover New Year's and Christmas plates and birthday plates. That way if I just need to throw something together, I have it all over there. It's even like happy birthday banners. I've got extra like forks and knives and napkins and straws and all of that there. Um, this one, I'm not sure what to do with yet. I'll eventually figure it out. I like this one. Um, I'm sure I might use it for something else too, or if I have like, I bet I have more of these in the washer and so they might all fit, but it just takes a lot of pressure off this small drawer because now I can open it up and get it. Especially when people are over here helping me cook, they're like, where's your oven mitt? And I'm like, it's in this drawer. And they're like, that's towels. And I'm like, it's in the very back. <laughs> so at least now when they open this, they can see whatever they need to and grab whatever they need to use. So it's just nice to kind of have the overflow even though these aren't being used all that well yet. At least nothing's like crammed on top of each other. Next up, let's work on this cabinet. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to do a ton with it, but I think I can definitely make it look better than that. Wanna put you in that spotlight. So this isn't a space that I get into often, but when the holidays roll around, I have to have all these pieces. I feel like Thanksgiving and Christmas and Easter, we always have my family over. And if we do any birthday parties or just family gatherings, I need these pieces to host. So I don't use these daily, but they're still things I need just to get through the year with hosting. Much, much, much better. I can actually get to all the things I need to, minus like the wood um, cutting board back there. I may need to move that. Like all the top is like silver and then all the bottom is white except for the glass bowl. So I might eventually move those two pieces. I'll probably take it out right now just to see if it looks better. I kind of like the idea of keeping like like things together. This is a really good setup. So I like that all like my silver serving dishes and platters are up there. And then right here, all my white ones are. So now I just have a few items I've got to figure out if I'm keeping, using, decorating, or if they're just gonna get donated. This is the cabinet above my microwave. So this is basically when I'm hosting a lot. So I have just this stand, I use this all the time. So I kept it towards the front. Um, just like a tray or platter to put stuff on. This is for cake pops back there in the back. I use this anytime I'm making like peach tea or lemonade. And then I have like the cake dish stand. And then that's for more drinks when people come over. So I'm gonna keep this all up here. But I feel like everything's looking really good so far. I've been feeling so small. Watch the clock ticking off the wall. But tonight. Before I start putting all my decor back out, I do want to just wipe down all my countertops. Like I mentioned in the beginning of today's video, I don't do this very often. I clean my countertops, but I don't move the items. So there's always a lot of like dust and crumbs back there. Um, so I just wanted to know my whole kitchen was completely clean. So it was worth just taking everything off. And then I'm going to shake things up as I put things back and try to put them in new spaces to see if I like it even better. I noticed when I was going through the design space software, they had really cute labels for like flour and sugar. So you could take glass containers like these. They were super, super, super inexpensive. They're like $6. And then you can make really cute labels. Those would be even really good like wedding gifts or if you're going to like a wedding shower, it would be super inexpensive and it would be a really neat gift to give. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make I did a switch these two sides up. I'm trying to decide when I walk into the kitchen if I like this better or the wood. I'm trying to figure out how to arrange these as well. So how many cutting boards do I need there? 
think I might take the black one away again. I think I liked it just being all wood. And then I've just got to decide which side I want it on. So I currently have a lot of wood tones going on in my house and I'm not mad about it just because I feel like it's really warming up the space and it's making it nice and cozy and the best thing you can do to it is just to like lean into it. So if you have a wood piece somewhere in the living room, add like this a fruit bowl or a cutting board right there in your kitchen so it pulls that color into another space and then it just all starts to like make sense and it just kind of makes it flow. But now that I'm done decorating, I'm done wiping down my cabinets, I'm gonna give my tile floor a good cleaning because there's crumbs everywhere. And then I'm gonna show you how everything turned out. I can't believe it, it is finally done. So I thought I'd walk you through some of these cabinets, especially the ones I didn't open. This one's not perfect, but it's just all of like the water cups of Savannah's. We have all of our silverware here. Um, this is like, all of that fun stuff. Pots and pans aren't perfect, but you know, you just kind of stack them <laughs> and move on. I think I showed you this cabinet earlier. They're just our cups. This is all of our plates. And then I showed you all of those. I think I've showed you inside everything. Let's look at this one again. It's just too good to skip out on. Okay guys, and that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Kitchens always take so much more work than what you think they're going to, or it always does for me, but it's always worth it. Like it's one of those projects you get done and you can like feel it, you can see it. You're opening up your cabinets every day and it's just so nice to have things organized and to open it up to things that you're only using um, in your home. So if yours are super cluttered, start getting those decluttered. I did that whole process and I've never looked back. I do keep excess of some things just because we host like Thanksgiving and Christmas, but but for the most part, if it's in there, we use it often. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new here, go ahead and click that red subscribe button because I post two new videos every single week and I'd love to have you here. I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Thanks so much for watching. And again, thanks to Cricut for sponsoring today's video. Drive a faster car